depends. Our today's class is on factorizations. So, do you know what's factorizations meaning? Factorization means to divide a number into its factors. The factors can be composite or prime. But in this class, we will focus on prime factorization. So, prime factorization means that to have a uh, to take out prime factors of a particular given number. For example, here the number is 36. But in this also we can do in two methods. First is the factor 3 method. It's very easy. Let's do. How will we do it? First, here is my number 36. And now I will do two parts of it. It can be 2-18-ja or 3-12-ja. We can also do it 9-4-ja. So, which one you prefer? I prefer 4-9-ja. So, 4, we will circle 4 and 9, we will circle 9. So, how can we divide 4? Yes, only 1. 4 can be divided in 2 into 2. So, I will make two parts, 2 and 2. These are two of my prime factors. Now, here we can divide 9 also into prime factors, which are they? 3 and 3. So, I will divide it in 3 and 3. So, the factorization is over. Now, the prime factors of 36 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So, we can check it by multiplying 3 3s are 9, 9 2s are 18 and 18 2s are 36. We can do vice versa also. 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are what we did here, 12 and 12 into 3, 36. We can also do it like this. Uh, 3 2s are 6, 6 3s are 18 and 18 2s are 36. We can, but we should check it. Now, we will write the answer. Answer is equal to 2 into 2 into 2, uh, sorry, 3 into 3. If we don't write the answer, we will, the, uh, the, process is incomplete because how will we come to know which is the answer so these are its prime factors this was the factor 2 method now let's take one more example 24 so 24 when divided by 2 we get 12 so i divided by 2 and 2 into 12. So, 2 is already a prime factor. So, there is no need to divide it. Now, 12 we will divide into 3. Um, 4 is Now, 3 is prime factor but 4 is not. Now, we will divide 4 into 2 parts. 2 into 2. So, what is its prime factorization? 2 into 3 into 2 into 2. But we will not write it like this. We will write it 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Why? Because we write them from great, smaller to greater in an increasing order. So 2 is smaller than 3. We, we have learned ascending and descending in our previous class. If you like, you can subscribe. So, here, now, what will we do? Our prime factors are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Let's check. Yes, it's 24. Now, do you know the prime factors of a number don't match with the prime factors of any other number? You can try it. Now, our second method is continuous division method. We will try it on 36 and then on 24. So, 36 and 
we will make a shape L and a dash here. Now we will divide 36 by 2 because if it's not then we will be taking 3 but it is. So when divided by 2 we get 18. We will make a L shape on 18 and then divide it by 2 because it's divisible. So we get 9. We will make a L shape again. So we will divide it by 3 because we can't divide it by 2 and 1 obviously not because we will get 9 again. So we will divide by 3 so we get 3 again. And this 3 we will divide it by the this 3 only because it's not divisible by 2 and so the next is 3 we will divide by 3 and here we get 1 we have to do it till we get 1 at last so the numbers or the factors of 36 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 so when we did it before with the twin method so we got same factors now as i told the factors don't change if you multiply 2 into 2 into 2 uh, it's 8 but 8 does not come in table of 36 how can we do it you try but it will not be so now we will do of 24 first we will divide it by 2 we get 12 and because 12 is also divisible by 2 we will divide it we get 6 now 6 is also divisible we will divide it by 2 now we get 3 so as i told you you what will we do with this 3 left yes we can't divide it by 2 so the next number is 3 3 we'll divide by 3 and we get 1 so it stops here now the factors are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 so in this continuous division method you will always get in an ascending order you know don't need to arrange it you will write it as it is but in the factor two, you can or cannot so you have to arrange it bye